real internet, it's Paul, it's Matt, the Dork Lords. We are here today talking about episode three of The Penguin, Bliss. We open with a flashback to election night, the night the Riddler blew up the seawall and flooded Gotham, particularly Crown Point. We meet Vic's family. They're having dinner, but Vic declines in order to go up to the rooftop to watch the fireworks with his friends, including his girlfriend, Graciela. He tells his parents the fireworks are celebrating election day, but I think he and his friends are aware that the Riddler is going to blow something up and they're going to watch the pyrotechnics. Uh, shock and horror follow. The floodwaters hit the apartment building and all the buildings around it, drowning everyone who isn't on the roof. We end with a surprising, <laughs> darkly comic sequence, um, in my opinion. Oz apologizes to Sophia for betraying her a decade ago, resulting in her being sent to Arkham. Looks like we're going to get that flashback in the next episode. Yeah, I believe that's what we've heard. Uh, Sophia seems to accept his apology, but says, How do I know I can trust you? And he somewhat movingly responds, How about I keep showing you how? <laughs> Seconds later, the Persian mob shows up. <laughs> Out for revenge on Oz. Yeah. Vic saves Oz by killing a mobster with the Maserati. Yeah. Oz jumps in the car, tells Vic to take off. Vic <laughs> says, what about Sophia? <laughs> Leave her! <laughs> Moments after saying, let me show you how trustworthy I can be. He's like, just get out! Go, go, go! <laughs> so I was, that was pretty well done. I uh, confirms yet again that Oz is a pretty terrible guy. <laughs> um, I I enjoyed that scene very much. Um, all that said, Paul. Yes. What'd you think of episode three? Um, yeah, I I don't know if I was as amused as you as that particular. Okay, uh, it was just there. great, right? I Let did, me show you. I, you know I, what? Words are <laughs> words are one thing, but hey, they Actions literally are another. Yeah, a minute <laughs> yeah, later, if leave I her. You, leave I her. Pay attention to my actions. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't just Ooh. believe my words. No. Uh, it, and, and it was great that the show didn't just have him drive off. They have Vic ask. Yes. What about Sophia? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Leave her. <laughs> oh, that's great. Anyway, yeah, that was yeah. that was fun. Um, yeah, I don't, yeah. So, so I liked it. I thought it was a good show. I, you know, um, I've heard many people say, and and uh, they're quite right that. Uh, um, you might have felt that uh, the show wasn't paying enough attention to Victor, um, and true, uh, true. this gave uh, yeah. him the focus this episode without pulling too much from the other characters. Yeah, um, which you know it shows you how the show is, right? Because you know they're telling you again in the uh, synopsis for next week that oh, we're going to learn more about Sophia. Right. So uh, they're doing a good job of uh, making these characters um, rich and deep. Uh, so I enjoyed all that. Um, I It's funny, though. It's only been three episodes, and it does show to be a good show. Um, I'm curious about this tack. So, you know, of... Okay. Um, you know, it seems like uh, Sophia's going to learn that she shouldn't trust us. Right. So how is he going to work with them? But, you know, they may just be setting us up. Um, you know, that's so miraculously uh, the fact that uh, the family that she thought was responsible for the death of her brother um, and says that uh, they've been working with Oz, um, maybe that's not so bad. <laughs> mm. You know, maybe. <laughs> or you think that would just be like, oh, that's all she needs to know, and now she doesn't trust him. They're writing themselves into corners, right? And yeah, like, yeah, get exactly. Out of it? yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you know, so that's good. It's good writing and all that. We'll see. You know, they started off. If with, you're clever uh, enough to get out of it, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. So far, the writing is very good. I have to say, I'm I'm impressed uh, with a lot of it. Um, but yeah, like you say, so you know, once that Persian mob arrives uh, at the end, there, um, Sophia would know that Oz is playing both sides right uh or three sides if you count the triads um but uh then of course he drives her away leaving her to her fate <laughs> and then he think about johnny vd he uh 
he's not going to be eager to do business with Oz after being blackmailed and physically assaulted by him uh, with the cell phone. Well, he's not going to be either about it, but you know, but he might do it, it just because he, yeah, right, yeah. Like, he twist his arm. He's in the he's still in the place where he is. I think it would be easier just to bump Oz off at this point. But anyway, but yes, you're right. Maybe you could you could use leverage. Um, but it's like the Maronis, the Falcons, and Sophia all hate Oz at yes. this point, theoretically. Yes. Uh, theoretically, yeah. So what would his next play be? I mean, the triads won't will drop him as soon as they realize he can't get them more bliss. So, so I think somehow he has to convince Sophia that he's still on her side. Yeah. Some, I think, somehow. I, mean, I right? think you're right. Um, yeah. Like, it, oh, this was hard. a plan. Oh, it it's, worked out. It, yeah, yeah. That's why, yeah, it, it uh, makes me curious about this step because they, they established an interesting base. You know, I really like the scene between uh, Sophia and Oz when they're negotiating. Yeah. You know, um, it didn't feel like uh, Sophia was aware of his play before he did it. And yet she's like, okay, I'm just going to play this. I'm just going to play it. And, uh, you know. Um, and I like the scenes of them working together. Like, they actually yes. make a good team. Yes. Yeah. You know, which is interesting, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you definitely could um, uh, imagine a theme of, um, you know, because she's a woman, uh, she hasn't been, uh, she's been, you know, people are underestimating her, and that she notices that Oz is also underestimated. Right. Um, well, they even had, in their talk, she mentions, like, you're not even a made man. You know, like, in right. other words, you were a, basically a nobody, and you made your name basically by betraying me. But, <laughs> but yeah. just to say, like, you're not respected because you aren't one of the one of the elites. Right. Um, and she's not respected because she's a woman. Yeah. Yeah. And also, too, we don't know what this event is that happened before that made everybody think she was crazy. True. So, I mean, I if I had to guess, uh, I mean, I even mentioned last week, I thought that maybe she had been framed as the hangman. Uh, and I think that seems pretty likely now. Right. Well, I mean, certainly that is a possibility. Or maybe she got turned in for... You know, but she had done the crime somehow. But maybe right. Yeah. Well, the 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 other thing is perhaps um, these crimes are something that uh, the family would uh, needs to appear to be against. Right. But, you know, it's like okay, good. You're going to take the fall and save us. This is something you're yep. doing for the family, appearing to be crazy, when really she was doing something that uh, you know was really helping the family, and she was taking. And, and a, Oz is, was her driver. So he is a witness, right? To and so he could, if he lied and said, "Yep, she did the thing," you know that he could basically by lying, he said he got the club, he got the drops business. So he was that was kind of interesting scene there where he was like, "Look, I, you know, I, I got I I got out of it what I wanted." So I yes, I liked it in that way, but uh, uh, I do feel bad for what I did, what it did to you. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, it yeah, got yeah, me yeah, really yeah. far ahead. So yeah, awesome. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's I, he lied about her to put her in Arkham. So I assume that lie is she did these crimes when really it was somebody else. Maybe it's Carmine. Maybe it's whoever. Alberto. I don't know. But she, she took one for the family. Right. Essentially. Right. But then also maybe being in Arkham and have and take because we know now that Bliss is this drug that was being used in Arkham on the inmates to keep yeah. them submissive. And, you know, maybe that's part of what made her crazy or you mm. know ish. She's got all these. You know, emotional. Uh, she can't sleeps in a closet, and she right, has right, these right. terrible nightmares. And uh, yeah, and side I uh, wonder if it, uh, the previous episode where they might have been pointing to some sort of relationship between her and her therapist, right? Um, you know, in which case then he's using the drug to manipulate her, which they're kind of implying that it makes you docile. Yeah, um, they, I think more than implied. I think she more or less says, yeah. Yeah, she it, does, yeah. Submissive, but, I think, is the word yeah, she says. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe it's it's uh, the play is that, okay, not, not only do we have these customers for this product, but also it makes us have them do things that uh, benefit us. And that's one of the things, certainly, that um, the movie and these shows have done a good job of having the socioeconomic conditions in, of of the city Gotham be more than oh just people are doing crime you know it's yeah it's about people talking about how the poor are 
using media and um, you know trying to g get ahead and and so you know it's like okay well having them do things that perhaps have a political advantage or something like that might be um, something that uh, you know is the ultimate plan of Sophia. Well, and also we get this sense of, uh, you know, we see a really effective scene where Vic has PTSD in the club. Yes. Um, and it's easy to see why, right? He's a cu couple of weeks at most away from witnessing his family and his whole neighborhood. You know, I got around. the impression, though, that perhaps he was uh, somehow superficial because he's handling that drug there. Yeah, maybe okay, was... I thought that too at first, but we are told that it makes you submissive and docile. Right, but I mean, maybe that's over time. Maybe okay. initially it, it's giving you the hallucination See, I thought, that they were talking about. I thought maybe what it might be, you know, so, okay, so Sophia mentions that this drug, uh, Oz names it Bliss, yeah. but it was used on her in, and other inmates in Arkham because it made right. you submissive. And then she says something like, in the wake of the disaster, the seawall disaster, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of people looking to escape from the emotional trauma of that event. Mm -hmm. um, and then we cue to Vic on, with the PTSD on the dance floor. I'm thinking maybe it's like he's like the prime example of someone who might reach for bliss to escape because he's suffering from this really traumatic PTSD. Maybe. It's just that it's strange. But you're that, right. He, uh, he, he was, was thinking, handling it. and maybe the, yeah, yeah, he was thinking of these events in a different way before. So why it would something become so visceral now yeah. okay. is, yeah. is kind of odd. I got you. I got you. Well, maybe maybe the drug isn't exactly what she's saying it is too, right? I mean, she's she could be trying to... She was trying to sell it to the triads. Uh, so And there is a bit where Oz tries to kind of downplay it a bit. Like, ah, so it's a party drug. And she says something like, yeah, in a way, or something like that. The way she says it's yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's yeah. not all it is. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, I just thought that was an interesting scene there where if you put it in context with her saying that this is one of the reasons why this drug is going to be popular because of the number of people who are basically having this mass... PTSD, essentially. Right, yeah. But presumably, though, most people wouldn't want to go back for that sort of experience. <laughs> right, right. If that's what it does, if yeah, it yeah, gives yeah. you PTSD, bad. I, I was assuming that you would, like, you would, you'd be, you'd forget about it for a while. You'd escape into some other realm. But, yeah. But you're right. She's perhaps having, she's having of, PTSDs. Uh, yeah, so perhaps making it, the point of it is to, uh, just make your what what you're experiencing or you know is on your mind more vivid who knows it hasn't been described yeah. yet right, um right. yeah I, that's uh if i'd had yet another time to look over it i might have uh, tried to see if people uh, the people around him were you know affecting him in any way uh slipping him something or if it like uh. you know or if it was just really just he was handling it uh, the riddler blew up the seawall on election day, which we see a flyer on the ground mm -hmm. at the beginning of the scene, and it says it's November 5th. Mm -hmm. And so uh, November 5th uh, is a reference uh, one has to think to Guy Fawkes Day. Ah, uh, for The gunpowder plot uh, when uh, Fox tried to blow up Parliament back in the 1600s. So, ah, uh, okay. Inspiration for a V for Vendetta and all that stuff. Ah, but anyway, sure. just to say, kind of a, a, an, an obvious analogy uh, to what happened uh, sure. with the Riddler there. So, sure. so last week I half jokingly said that if I was thrown into a grave with two fresh corpses, I might <laughs> try to get a bus ticket to California. Damn it! If Vic came within a few feet <laughs> of getting yeah. on a bus to California, yeah, yeah, I really like the scene where uh, Cobb was, uh, you know, had a gun on Victor, saying, "Is this how you feel? Is this uh, what your experience is?" Um, but really saying, like, uh, you know, look at what your life is. Um, yeah. You know, the, this is a chance for you, but if you can't see that, then, yeah, go ahead. Leave. It's another Which, really ex good example of the writing again. It's really quality. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, Roz has threatened to kill Vic in every episode. Yeah. So far, <laughs> <laughs> Which is also great in that scene, you know, as he's putting a gun to his head, he seems genuinely surprised that Vic sees himself as a hostage. 
You know, he's like, yeah. what? Yeah. You thought you thought you had to stay here because I might kill you? <laughs> <laughs> what gave you that idea? <laughs> Um, but it's also, you know, there's more to it in that. I think I also was feeling like, oh, this, this guy actually doesn't want to be here. But yet again, here's somebody that I'm, I'm, is only here by force. I also liked how they, uh, you know, Oz just, Oz sees that Vic is, have, is, is, you know, having second thoughts in some way. And so he tries to say all the right things, as we know Oz does. And one of the things he talks about is like, you know, your dad would be proud of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when eventually Vic replies like, no, my dad would be ashamed of me yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. And like that, that was a really cool moment. And, oh, sure. uh, you know, it, it, and it's true. I mean, yes. I think, and yeah, it's yeah. interesting that Oz is like, you know, well, blah, blah, blah. You know, what does he know? Basically. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So that was, uh, that was excellent as well. Yeah, it's all teased out well. Um you know, his girlfriend, uh, you know, when she introduced the concept that she's going to leave. Right. And it's very interesting the way she sort of plays it out, like, I'm going to do this. And um, and then eventually she says, but you could come too. Yep. Because uh, he has his reaction. So, you know, they weren't rushing the beats. They were right. playing Great point. them out. They were, you know, having every moment mean something. And, and so, they, you know, he sets up that thing of like, well, I don't, you know, this guy that I'm working for isn't just a rich guy. He's also someone who might kill me if yeah, he thinks yeah, I betrayed yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. And so, you know, she's like, are you going to talk to him? And that sets up this great scene, a yeah, couple yeah, of yeah. scenes. The scene in the restaurant is also interesting. Uh, you know, when the when Oz like berates the waiter for yes. just trying to cut yes, in yes, on yes, his yes. stuttering. And he's like, that's just all you don't have to yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know. the way he's encouraging him, which obviously is going to be uh, a theme they'll continue, which is like to make yourself bigger, to sort yeah. of, you know. Um, but also, too, when he um, managed to uh, send the cop off, you know, he handled that, yep. and then he was proud enough to share that with Oz. And then, um, and Oz was like, yeah, yeah, you handled that great. Uh, you know, so, and that really was very simple, but also well handled that scene where he just says, I don't have any money. Right, exactly. But also the scene where <laughs> I liked the fact that um, Oz is like, look, I'm going to start you out at one a week. And he's like, one thousand. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, uh, I, I want two. And, and so Oz is like, yeah, there you go. That's the spirit. I really like that. No, I'm not giving you that. But yeah, good yeah, job. Yeah. Good yeah, job, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way am I giving you 2000 But yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Great. Good, good on you to ask. Uh, <laughs> so that was also excellent. Um, but yeah, so we see here, I mean, like Vic has maybe given up his best chance to escape this world. Mm, and he's probably. abandoned the person that he cares for, probably the, the, the living person that he cares for the most. Sure. Is probably Graciela. So he's, at least in this moment, uh, he's he's abandoned, he's cut off that avenue. Right. But you could also look at it too, though, as um, a thing that was killed in the accident was his relationship with her. So, you know, just another aspect of his past ah, that yeah. he, you know, is no longer, no longer, you know, means anything for him. So he he's going to his future. But also, interestingly, I guess we don't know for a fact, but it seems pr pretty likely that he killed a guy with the car when he oh, yeah, rams probably. a guy with a car. Probably, so I think yeah. that's probably the first guy he's killed mm. as well. It's, I feel like it's just another like step that he's now into Oz's sure, circle, sure. you know, more so than he was at the beginning sure. of the episode. You know, as far as like lines that I liked. Uh, as far as like, oh, that's a good example of some good writing. Mm -hmm. I liked um, when Johnny Vitti obviously is doesn't oh. care, care for Sophia, right. and he's c commanding her again. It's the latest time to get the hell to Italy. Yeah, and he says two days, then you go to Italy, or I tell people that's where you went. Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, yeah. all right. Well, that's that's one way of saying it. Yeah, that uh, it's funny. I didn't think of the um, expression. I was dancing around it, but you know, that's another like they are not burning their steps. Yeah. Um, when uh, 
Sophia and Oz both confront Vidi in the uh, hotel room. Yep. You know, it's you know there are a number of aspects that are played in you know between them, um, and so yeah, when it's it culminates in a you know him being berated, Oz being berated again. And uh, his pride causing him to lash out. <laughs> I almost thought that maybe he's going to lose control <laughs> and kill I had, him. <laughs> I thought so too. I thought this is where it's going. Oh wow! Yeah. Um, he, you know, it turns out he needed Johnny Vitti enough that he doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. kill him. Johnny Vitti keeps calling him Penguin. Just keeps, yeah, you know, yeah. waiting for him to shove a cell phone in his mouth or whatever he did. Anyway, um, but uh, but yeah, no, all of those scenes were very effective. And uh, yeah, it's a series of of dialogues that are really well written, and and uh, they lead to each other. They build upon each other. Um, I'm 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 very pleased with what I've seen so far. Um, yeah, so. yeah. I mean, I think they've done a good job of tying it into that world. Um, yep. You know, the city of Gotham, um, and you know, it's it's not hurting from the fact. That it that that Batman hasn't been mentioned once, or at least, right. or has he? So far, I don't know. yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think so. Yeah, but um, you know, I feel like though you could make an argument that uh, it wouldn't take anything away if if they made references to the outside world, though, so you can see that it's a part of a larger world. Um, you know, it'd be nice if we saw some characters that existed in other. You know, like, oh, this person comes from Metropolis, or this person comes from uh, Central City, or whatever, you know, if yeah, it I got was uh, part of the larger world, which they're not. I mean, you know, they're doing a good job with this. I mean, uh, the, in the comics, this character really touches into the sort of mobster world, but uh, not nearly as much as this, and clearly this uh, owes far more to uh, The Godfather and Goodfellas. And, yep. and that uh, then t- and um, of course Sopranos than it does to uh, Batman but you know they're doing a good yeah, job yeah I mean I'd like to even see perhaps at some point uh, uh, Penguin reflect on his you know somewhat violent encounter with yeah, Batman yeah, yeah. that we right, saw in yeah. the movie I mean that happened just a, a, you know shortly before this yeah, yeah, yeah. series starts so yeah. he's had very recent contact so anyway but that that, yeah. that could happen yeah i mean um, you know I'd, I'd be nice to see gordon be nice to see harvey dent yep. you know i'm not going to put too much hope in that i just I, know, okay fair enough they uh they're doing a good job without having to do it um i think it would be even better if they did gotcha yeah so we'll see we'll see how uh how yeah, they play this out uh, daredevil too is uh you know well i guess perhaps it's too late now for daredevil to take notes uh, I think oh. they've raised the bar. Born Again, maybe? That yep. uh, Daredevil show, it, they've, the, the bar has been set. It, they're going to have to meet this, I think, because uh, it's doing a very good job. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm all in and uh, excited to see episode four. Um, so come on back for that, everybody. Uh, thank you, as always, Paul. Appreciate oh, it, sure, good sir. Sure, no problem. And we'll talk to everybody next time. Bye!